Independence is such a factor in aging. To hold on to your dignity, be in your home, and know when that doorbell rings that you not only have a professional, but you have a friend, somebody who genuinely cares. Well, I loved VNA, and it, it was a place where you could really feel you were making a difference. It's truly a hometown agency. Uh, they usually know or know someone who knows the patients they're taking care of, which I think adds to the level of caring. I, I have a very high opinion of VNA. Uh, they always do put the patient first. I've had several personal experiences with visiting nurses. A very good friend was able to stay in her home. She had brain tumors, knew that this was her end of life, but visiting nurses made it possible for her to stay at home. And, and that's where she wanted to be. Well, it really all began with visiting nurses when my father, who wanted more than anything else to stay out at the farm, visiting nurses was there at the beginning, and I truly believe that they helped him uh, stay alive and stay in his home until the very end. I will say there were probably 20, maybe 25 people from hospice and visiting nurses at his funeral. They all sat together and they were right there, right behind the family because all of them had become family by then. One of the most greatest ways of determining success of an organization is did its mission, what it did, make a difference in people's lives? And as I've said before, I think Douglas County Visiting Nurses and Hospice Care have given people that, that option to have that care in their home. But they were like uh, angels of mercy, I thought. I think that Visiting Nurses has made a tremendous impact on the community because Visiting Nurses really is the community, that they do care for their clients as a family member, and um, Visiting Nurses is, is really family. This community, uh, today we would not be in near the shape we're in if it wasn't for Visiting Nurses. You really can't quantify what it means to an individual to have someone come into their home where they, where they prefer to be, where they feel safe, they feel loved. It's very unique and, and special. I mean, VNA is just such a great place, and you might not need it today, but at some point in your life, you very well may. They're there for whoever needs it, and we all need to remember that. We all have to step up and do our part to help out so that organizations like VNA can, can continue doing the good work that they do. It's, it's a part of this community, and I would certainly ask everybody to, to see it in their heart to help out. And I think it's important that as we age, that we're able to stay in our homes as long as possible. And the services that VNA provides helps us reach that goal of you know, staying in the home that we love as long as we possibly can. Well, the, the need for the services that VNA provides is going to continue to grow into the future. And I think it's important that we as a community get behind this organization so that we can help those that need the help. From having served on the board, I know that every year there are higher and higher demands for assistance from Douglas County visiting nurses, from people who have no ability to pay. A life-threatening or debilitating sickness of a person who is um, the head of a family, um, that whole family is in dire straits. Visiting Nurses is a charitable organization and the, their motive is to care for others and, and that's it. And so every dollar that you put into Visiting Nurses is going to go to the care of those in our community. Visiting Nurses is just a unique, remarkable organization and I really believe that we are so lucky as a community, as a county, to have them. And we should do whatever we can on an individual level. I think we should all be donating to 
visiting nurses to keep that mission alive because um, we need them for another 50 years. And frankly, when I need them, I want them there.